that is JT Wisdom and I hope you're having a wonderful day. I wanted to share a quick recipe on uh, something that I thought was a really nice alternative. Uh, I'll just tell you a little just a little background. Um, I was looking for like it was like during the fall and so I was looking for a medicated um, like a medicated chest rub medicated salve or something like that a natural alternative to it because the salves that I see in the store a lot of them have petroleum in them so I make my own like shea butter uh, you know I, I'll usually make my own shea butter balm for my for my hair and for my body and so um, I use essential oils and I happen to pick up uh, eucalyptus oil and uh, from Aracacia and it's exhilarating eucalyptus oil and it's 100% pure pure essential oil and I I like to read the read the box and you know see if there's any kind of anything on it that I need to know or anything and it actually has like um, it'll have like what the you know what the what the oil the different types of oils just a little bit about Aracacia and what they do and actually hmm, actually a coupon in here too let me see is it still still valid I don't see any expiration date on here so that's awesome so um, it basically it's uh, it's really nice because it'll actually on the package it'll give you a dilution table too I was like if you want to have like if you want to use it for um, massage oil you can it'll say how many drops that you need to how much of a carrier oil carrier oils will use like olive oil can be jojoba some people say jojoba jojoba oil uh, argan oil your carrier oils um, and like if it's uh, like for bath or body mist or room spray uh, it'll say how many essential oils versus what the carrier oil or if you're using like for example like a room diffusion like an air air freshener spray how much water you'd be using so today I'm talking about um, medicated a medicated chest salve and I happen to see on on the box I happen to see that it said natural penetrating chest rub and I said oh this is awesome okay so I said well let's see what and this is the bottle this is a bottle it's a it's a, a 0.5 full ounce bottle of 100% pure essential oil and the ingredients are one tablespoon of coconut oil and I use Trader Joe's you can use Trader Joe's coconut oil there's Nutivia, Nutivia or Nutivia coconut oil any any unrefined coconut oil unrefined meaning that nothing has been taken out of it so uh, any unrefined coconut oil and then it has that you can put in nine drops of eucalyptus oil and it says a heated pad uh, but you could probably use if you wanted to use like a warm a warm towel warm heated towel warm cloth you could do that too and uh, basically you're using the coconut coconut and a eucalyptus oil in a small dish I have uh, a glass I really like putting my essential oils and my shea butters and everything in glass uh, this as a dish but if you want to keep it keep it in a glass this is uh, uh, old uh, uh, I had a Burt Bees natural hand cream and I just washed this out real good and I put uh, its glass so it's really nice and I just covered it up and then like if you want you can get real fancy and put your own decorative um, you know you can put like medicated you know medicated chest salve or something like that so all I do is uh, and first first I want to put a disclaimer up here is that if you are allergic to coconut oil if you are allergic to eucalyptus oil or you think you're allergic to eucalyptus oil please check with your doctor first to make sure whether or not you're allergic to it and if you're not allergic to these ingredients let's proceed with the recipe and there may be, if you're allergic to these oils, there may be a, a, a recipe out there that would be good for a natural, a natural chest rub, or even just, I think even with the, uh, the eucalyptus oil, it's just essential, just a spa. Eucalyptus always seems spa feeling to me, so it's even, it's a chest rub. It can be a chest rub, but it also is more like a natural, a natural spa feeling also. So the first thing I do 
is, and you can, like it says, nine drops, nine drops, and the key is nine drops of eucalyptus oil to, and it says, one tablespoon of coconut oil. And I usually do this in, I do it in small amounts because it seems like it's more potent, the eucalyptus oil, I smell it more, so I get, and you don't have to be, it's not like you have to be really specific with the oil, with the coconut. I get one tablespoon of coconut oil. So I just, I, I just have, I happen to have a wooden, uh, a wooden dial that I stir it with. And I really like it. So that's one tablespoon. And then I put in, it already has like the, the drops already. It already has the little cap in there that'll give me the drops. So I put in nine drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then I stir. So I stir it really well. And the more you stir, the more liquidy it'll get. But when you actually put it in, uh, in I usually put mine in in my in my uh, in my hall closet where I have like my, my oils and everything and so it's dark and so when it solidifies it'll actually solidify and I can smell the eucalyptus now and it is just so therapeutic and even if you're not using it necessarily as a chest rub just even just as a spa feeling you could use it for you could use it as that too like if you just wanted to put it like you know a little bit on your temples maybe or something like that you could just a little just for a spa feeling but if you're looking for a natural version of a medicated uh, and as they say on the package Ericacia says penetrating chest salve see that's kinda what it looks like now see it's kinda it looks a little little solidified a little liquidy it's not solidified yet so but it will get solidified if you just put it in a cool cool place it will get solidified um you know i mean if you i don't i don't really put it i don't put it in the in the refrigerator or anything i mean i guess you could if you wanted to but i don't think you have to and then after i'm done then all i do like for example suppose i said oh well i want to fill this up well, all I would do is I would just get my tablespoon. I get another tablespoon of coconut oil, and then I would just put it in there. And see, it's so it's it's summertime now, so it's just the the coconut oil is very uh, malleable and very uh, liquidy, so it's just sliding right off. So then I would do that, and then I would add nine more drops of eucalyptus oil. So now we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I specifically go by I use nine drops per 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 tablespoon of coconut oil. So then I make sure I stir it up. See I'm I'm I filled it up. So I'm stirring and I really like the doll but you could use if you wanted to use like the end of a spoon or something like that you could um, if you want to, you know, I usually put it in something. I, I really like this glass jar because it's just enough. It's just enough and you don't need much. Uh, so I just wanted to share this with you. So I am, so basically I'll clean off my little doll. And I'll set that over here. And then I'll put my top on. As you can see, it's full. It's kind of liquidy now, but it will solidify so and then I'll put my top on and I can cover that and put a, I can put a label on it to say penetrating you know penetrating chest salve or something like that so that's kind of it so I wanted to share that with you so uh, until next time this is JT Wilson Jesus love you Jesus is Lord and have a great day